Hi. Welcome to our channel. Good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel. Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, we are going to discuss the second video of the information retrieval systems. In the previous video, I have given the just the introduction part of the information retrieval system. And in the today's class, we are going to describe some more topics relevant to the information retrieval systems. So, what are the other topics relevant to the information retrieval system? Now, we are going to let us see the objectives of the information retrieval system. So, what is the main objective of the information retrieval system here is to reduce the user time. So, what is the user time normally? The user will spend for searching of an item in a document more number of the time. For searching of any kind of the item, as in the previous class we have discussed what is the meaning of the item. An item may be a text, an item may be a pattern or a code or a a multimedia object like uh, jpg uh, image and uh, mpg file gif like that the item may be of any kind it may be a multimedia object it may be a pattern it may be a word or it may be a text whatever it is that is treated as item okay the user spends more time to find out his uh, required item in the whole document so the time will be wasted for the user so, this is the main motivation or the objective of the information retrieval system to reduce the time for searching of an item to the user. Okay. So, the second point is saying that the what head is expressed as the time of the user spends in all the steps leading to reading an item containing the needed information. Actually, in the document, there is a lot of information to be located. So, entire information need not be needed to the user. Okay. He requires only some specific information. That specific information is called as the needed information. The needed information may contain a single item or it may be a collection of the items. So, whatever it may be a single item or it may be a collection of the items, whatever it is, user need to spend much more time in that. So, the information retrieval system provides a uh, provides a way to reduce the time for searching for such kind of the items. So, it was designed in a way to reduce the user time for selection of particular items, what he needed. Now, see this, the success of the information retrieval system is how well it can minimize the use of overhead to find the needed information. This point is saying that same, what I have told in the previous slide. So, the, whenever we can say the information retrieval system is a successful information retrieval system, which can provide a minimal time to access the information what he needed. Okay. So that is the important modification and the first, uh, sorry, important uh, uh, motivation or important objective of the information retrieval system. Okay. Overhead from the user perspe perspective is also the time. They spend much more time. Normally, in what cases they spend time in the search composition and in the search execution and reading all the non-relevant items, what is not needed. In the way of searching the relevant items, all are coming the coming under the overheads of the information retrieval system. The first one is what search composition. Composing the search search execution, he is executing his own search operations and reading all the non-relevant items for his relevant item. He is going to read all the non-relevant items also and wasting his time for searching for for such a item what he is needed. All these things are categorized under overhead of the information retrieval system and the same as well as the overheads of the user perspective also. Okay. Next, coming to the point of the relevant item. What is the meaning of the relevant item? Here in the previous sessions I told that what is the meaning of the item. An item may be an anything. It may be a, um, a pattern, a word, a, a JPG image, the BMP image or MP um, mpg image or uh, mpg file or mb file or it may be a multimedia object so that, like that there are so many number of the objects are associated for a document in the information retrieval system all the items are not needed for the user only the sum of the items are required for the user search okay so such a kind of the relevant uh, item search is called as relevant item okay which is needed for the search that is called as the relevant item. The IRS term, uh, the relevant item is used to represent the item containing the needed information. The needed information is there in the relevant item. You 
user to check his needed information in the form of the relevant item. Okay. From a user's perspective, relevant and needed are synonymous. That means the relevant item, what he is going to search or going for search and the next one is needed information. These two are the synonymous terms, similar uh, terminology, these two are. Okay. So next, what kind of the measurements that we will use uh, along with those measure, uh, along with these relevant items. For this relevant items, we are going to use two major measurements. So these two measurements are most important throughout our information return systems. You people have to blindly remember these uh, two measurements which are very important for our coming sessions also. So these two measures are called as the one is the precision and another one is the recall. What is the precision can be measured number of retrieved relevant items by number of total retrieved and recall is nothing but number of retrieved relevant by number of possible relevant. The measure can be, uh, these can be designed like that. These two measures can be designed like that. Precision and as well as the recall. And one more thing here, how the precision can be defined. It is the ability to retrieve the top ranked documents or top ranked items which are mostly relevant. Okay, precision always focusing on the top relevance, exact relevance. That means, for example, you are searching for a word called KUI key. So, exact matching with the particular word key only is place. Okay, so what is the meaning of the recall now? The ability to search to find all the relevant items. Okay, so whenever you are going to search for a recall, what are the items that are relevant to that particular uh, thing, whatever it is, it is place all those items. Suppose you want to search for a word called computer. What are the relevant words relevant to the computer? Hard disk and the mouse, uh, monitor. All these also can be uh, displayed in the recall. Whereas in the precision, you are searching for a computer. The exact word which is there uh, in the computer that only will be displayed. Like mini computer, micro computer, like that. All the words that contain the exact word computer will be displayed. Whereas in the recall, the relevant words relevant to the computer. Like hard disk, mouse, keyboard, etc those will be displayed. Like that, there is a lot of difference uh, between the precision and as well as the recall. Precision is one end, whereas comparing to the recall is the another end. Okay? So, like that, the precision and recall can be categorized. These two are the most relevant measurements, which are going to be used most frequently along with the relevant items. Right. Now, see, let us see in this uh, uh, PPT, uh, precision can be uh, represented as the number of retrieved relevant, number of total retrieved and uh, this uh, and recall can be represented as number of retrieved relevant by number of possible relevant. Okay, so here the figure it is showing that it is a vowel. This vowel displaying as the document space. This document space contains the four types of the uh, search. What kind of the search? It is divided into four types. The first one is the relevant retrieved and the second one is the non-relevant retrieved and third one is the relevant not retrieved and non-relevant not retrieved. Like that, the entire document space can be divided into four different types. The first one is nothing but it's relevant and as well as retrieved. And the second case it is non-relevant, non-required. And third case it is relevant but not required. And coming to the fourth case, non-relevant and as well as not retrieved. So, Whatever search we perform in the document, the entire document space will be affected on these four categories, these four points. Okay, these are these four are categorized as the effects of the search in a total document space. That means these things will happen whenever you search for an item in the document, for your required item or for your relevant item. These things can be happen for your search. Some items can be relevant and retrieved. Some items can be non-relevant but retrieved. Some items okay, but relevant but not at all retrieved and non-relevant items are not at all retrieved. There is no uh, problem at all. Okay. So like that uh, these things will happen. So that's why the entire document space can be categorized, uh, sorry, divided into these four different kinds of the spaces. Okay. Searching an item. For a search, uh, you looking information in a topic, the total database, the document space is divided into four different segments as well. Just now we have seen where number of possible relevant, number of relevant retrieved items. Number of total retrieved is the total number of items retrieved from the query. Okay. And number of retrieved relevant is, num is the number of items retrieved that the user relevant to the users to the user search field. Precision, this one, these things, the four things is also again once again here described. 
the database is divided into four different types as per the document space and the same thing it contains relevant retrieved not relevant retrieved relevant not retrieved and as well as non relevant retrieved and one more thing here we need to remember is precision measures one aspect of information retrieved or get for a user associated with a particular search okay so precision always looks for the top most relevant items okay so what is the precision and what is the recall how they two are interrelated now once again we are going to see precision is directly affected by the retrieval of the non relevant items and drops a number of close to zero precision this is one of the overhead of the precision that's what here it is measured uh, written information retrieved or hit for a user associated with a particular search that means some of the items which are non relevant those non relevant items are makes as zero only top most relevant items can be categorized as one in the precision it always focusing on the exact match it is always focusing on the exactly relevant items that is the main overhead of the precision <coughs> and coming to the recall recall is non affected by the retrieval of non relevant items whatever the relevant items to that particular pattern or the word what we are searching it uh, gathers all the relevant items to 100 numbers for example i am searching for a word computer just now i told the precision how it checks is nothing but where the exact matching occurs in the entire document like uh, mini computer micro computer and uh, computer all these things uh, so the exact word is occurring as the computer it searches all these things that is called the precision the exact match and the same match that is the top relevancy is nothing but precision but for coming to the recall how it look like in the recall whenever we are going to search for a word uh, uh, precision sorry uh, computer what are the relevant terms related to the computer or uh, nothing but hard disk mouse keyboard etc all will come which are somewhat relevant it also displays as the relevant items that is the thing in the recall in the same manner if you search for a word called tree what are the relevant items to the tree leaves branches stem all these things will come under roots all these things comes under so animal if you say about dog the dog cat the um, and mouse like that all the animals comes under the edge in the, the um, under that particular uh, search okay so um, all the relevant items can can, can become whenever you perform a search in the case of the recall how this can be numbered as nearly 100 that means 100% achieved whereas the non relevant items are achieved in the precision is zero whereas non relevant items achieved in the recall is 100% so precision is exactly opposite to the recall and recall is exactly opposite to the precision we can say whereas exact match is always always uh, directly opposite to the relevant match okay so like that the precision and the recall it occurs all it occurs uh, the search occurs according to the precision is exact items uh, and non relevant items make as zero but recall all the non relevant items somewhat relevant items are also comes under nearly the 100% so both are totally opposite to each other but these two are uh, very good measurements through which that will be used throughout our search in the information retrieval system you have to blindly remember these two measures throughout our information retrieval systems which gives the clear meaning of each and every concept for we for what we are using in the information retrieval systems okay so uh, this is the second uh, video of the information retrieval systems so further i make more videos on the information retrieval systems please watch and subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials for more videos and thank you for watching all of you thank you one and all